Good evening, I'm Karen Madden and welcome to Primetime Sports Tuesday. We begin with news out of Eugene, Oregon. As Shanika Ricketts says, she used her disappointment from the Tokyo Olympics last year as a motivation to retain her World Championship silver medal at the event on Monday. Jordan Ford now reports from Eugene. Finishing one place off the podium at the Tokyo Olympics for Shanika Ricketts was the fire she needed to drive her to a silver medal for a second successive World Athletics Championships in Eugene, Oregon on Monday. Ricketts had a best leap of 14.89 meters, which was her season's best on her first attempt in the competition. I feel like every disappointment is for a greater reappointment. Um, last year I was gutted to be in fourth. It's better to finish eighth than to finish fourth. I have to live with that for, my, for the rest of my life and to come and redeem myself tonight. I am over the moon. Ricketts did, however, admit that she wasn't always confident that she would be on the podium earlier this season. But the season I've been having, I've been jumping nowhere close to 14.8 meters and to produce it tonight in order to get the silver medal. When it matters, I'm just over the moon and I'm grateful. Two-time Commonwealth Games champion Kimberly Williams expressed disappointment after finishing seventh with a leap of 14.29. I felt like I was going to do better today, so I'm, I'm really disappointed about it. Not just the 7th place, but the 14.29. Um, that's below my standards. But hey, at least I made it here because I didn't think I was going to be here in one piece. So I have to be thankful. Debutante Akilia Smith was 12th with a best of 13.90 meters in the final. Earlier, Shelly and Fraser Price says she was forced to run harder than she would have liked in her 200 meter heat. Fraser Price finished second in 22.26 seconds to advance to Tuesday's semis. Boy, I'm not telling that girl is serious, bad. She's going to jog in the career. How was the recovery? How was the recovery for you, Jenny? Listen, I am still tired, but... She's going to jog in the career. How was the recovery? How was the recovery for you, Jenny? Listen, I am still tired, but... I'm glad I qualified. I mean, I wanted to qualify as easy as I could. And I knew... Now the young lady said I was going to run. Fraser Price, who had several obligations after winning the 100 meter title a night earlier, was also surprised at the scheduling. I'm wondering, you know, um, if it's a plot against us, but I don't think so. <laughs> because myself, Shirk and Elaine all did the double. We're doing the double. And the men, get a, the men got a day break. And they're refreshed and they're back. No break and we had a late night. She's joined by the ladies who helped her complete the 100-meter sweep, Sharika Jackson and Elaine thompson Hero in the next round. Well, I took some time in the drug room last night, so I didn't get to do all my recovery. But I will get some in now and come for tomorrow. I'm going good. Um, I did some recovery, so I'm feeling good. And there are also injury concerns for Ashid Dwyer ahead of the semis after he was second in his heat in 20.29. I... I felt something off the corner and I felt it in the street again. So I slightly backed off. I was going to actually stop when I felt the first crumb, but I continued. Samantha Hall was 14th in qualification in the discus throw. Reporting from Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon, site of the 2022 World Athletics Championships, I'm Jordan Fort for TVJ Sports. And we have since received a word from Jordan that Johan Blake has withdrawn from the 200-meter semifinals as a result of a sole in right foot. Jamaica's medical team expects Blake to recover in time for Friday's heats of the 4x100-meter relays and have sought a medical exemption to allow for his selection.